Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to combine volumetric fog and dynamic fog in Unity Universal Render Pipeline. Now, first we start with creating a project. We make sure it is using the URP pipeline, well the UR pipeline. We shall name it dynamic and volumetric fog. Give it a second to start. And here we have all the Universal Render Pipeline assets. I'm just going to make a folder here and put them all in there so things are tidier. And now I'm just going to make a new scene and open the Package Manager. Wait for it to load. Look under Assets and search for Dynamic Fog. So I'm going to type Dynamic. Give it a second and Import. I'm going to uncheck built-in and now let's look for volumetric fog. Let's take version 2 which has URP support, uncheck built-in again and import. Close the package manager. Once we've imported, we're just going to check in the dynamic fog URP folder and double click on the dynamic fog URP asset, wait for it to uh, install and then do the same for volumetric fog. Go into the volumetric fog bundle folder, double click on the asset and press import. Now let's go into the dynamic fog demo folder and open demo one, scene one. You can see it's set up. Uh, there's a dynamic fog manager and it says we need to enable depth texture. We did that. Let's disable so we can see the level and you can see, let's find a mountain. I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to add my volumetric fog now by going to Game Object Effects Volumetric Fog Fog Volume. And I'm just going to move it in a place here. So I'm just going to cover the mountain. Okay, I'm going to change the size so the lower part and the upper part uh, completely cover the mountain and the surrounding terrain, of course. And now I'm going to press new fog profile and it will automatically create a new profile and assign it. Now if I scroll down, I'm going to find terrain fit and I'm going to enable it. And now I can play with the settings of the fog. And if I change this noise strength, you can see that uh, it breaks up the fog. I enable the detail so we have some more detailed noise. And I'm just going to play with the scale here to see to get something that looks like what I want. And you can see that you can achieve many looks by playing with the settings here. Thicker fog, less thick fog, sparser or whatever. So I'm just going to enable the dynamic fog here and we'll see that it all works together just fine. And I'm just going to disable it and find my first person controller and move him into place. I'm just going to place him here next to the volume fog and rotate him so he's looking at the mountain. And I'm just going to press play once I enable the dynamic fog. And you can see I'm walking around and it all works together. And the volume fog is going over the mountain and we also have the dynamic fog in the background and you can see that it's working as expected. And if I walk towards the mountain, this mist is going down and it's coming towards me. So now I'm just going to switch into the scene view and we're going to have some fun now that the tedious work has been done of setting up the fog. I'm just going to go into the fog volume and I want to be in play mode so we can see it move. I'm going to go under geometry and I'm going to show you what these do. So you can change the shape of the volume and you can add a sphere which changes how the fog ends here. You can see that it's uh, a circle. Let's uh, go back. Uh, the border option will allow us to fade the border of the box, which is pretty useful because you might not want to have a visible edge. And that's why it was at zero, zero 005. Uh, that was better. Now you can move the fog up and down using the vertical offset option. And you can also uh, change at which distance the fog is visible. So if you increase this 
uh, the fog is further away and you can adjust the fall off for that which can make the transition smoother but it's fine here for now and of course the terrain fit option which is the one that uh, forces the uh, fog to conform to the terrain at which point we can select the resolution which won't make a difference because our terrain here isn't very detailed uh, but you can uh, increase or decrease based on the features and of course the performance you want to achieve now below that you will find options for the layers that will be used to create and generate the fog and then after that you will find terrain fog height which when adjusted changes the height of the fog based on the terrain so you can get higher or lower fog obviously okay so higher higher and lower lower and but the funny thing is if I increase the minimum altitude I can lift the clouds so from the ground and now I have a nice well the fading here isn't uh, very nice but I can uh, adjust that probably by uh, going here to the border and now I have some uh, some clouds that cover the mountaintop but also have you know a layer of clouds and uh, I could also of course decrease the maximum and make a line of clouds so the peak of the mountain goes through the clouds and I think that's it I hope you found this tutorial helpful stay tuned for the next video